when you're searching online, there is so much information and you're trying to find something that is relevant and you just find the way down the rabbit hole. But when you're looking for an interior design mentor, you should be looking for somebody who actually knows what they're talking about, not someone who is um, kind of giving you information that they've regurgitated from another coach or from somewhere that they've just learnt themselves. And I think that's something to really consider because these days, every single person is sharing information and not all of that information is correct. And that can get you into a lot of trouble, which is one of the main things that I think is important to look for in a mentor, which is somebody who takes responsibility for the information that they're giving you. And somebody who is there with you when things do get tough because interior design as a business can be quite litigious. It can get you into trouble. You're dealing with the construction industry, a lot of different people, architects, designers, other um, professionals. And usually interior designers are an easy scapegoat because a lot of interior designers don't know what they're talking about or doing. And that's why it's really important to be getting information from somebody who actually knows what they're talking about and that can guide you. So what are the things that you will be looking for? And one of the places you'll be looking for it um, is on the internet. And I think, well, where where else would we these days? Um, especially when you're working on your own as an interior designer, that can be really isolating. So we go to places like social media, we go to places like YouTube, we go Facebook, Instagram, and Google, and we just try and get the information specifically that we're trying to look for. And yet, it can be deceiving because a lot of things are fake. A lot of people aren't doing what it is that they're saying that they're doing or making the kinds of money that they're, they're saying that they're making. And a lot of information that you could be given might be outdated. And that's the scary thing because you could be looking for something that actually is the right article or the right help. And you're like, yes, yes, this is answering my question, but it's 10 years old. And you think, well, is that really relevant? And now these days people are taking off the dates of their, um, of their articles to make it uh, appear like it's like genuine log it has that longevity but um, it's important to be working with somebody or listening to the information from somebody who is current in the industry because the industry is so fast-paced it's changing all the time that's what we love about interior design that's also what's so difficult about it so when you're thinking about the community the mentorship the support that you need as an interior designer working every day usually if you're that kind of designer that is solo you need to be working with people who are absolutely current in your industry and usually um, working on projects at the same time because when the world changes and it's constantly changing interior design is constantly changing and when you're going through something you need the person who you're speaking to or trying to get answers from to be going through the same thing because they're experiencing it themselves or have recently experienced that same thing themselves and overcome that problem because you want a solution to the problem as quickly as possible no one wants to like go into the deep dark dungeons of hell and just listen to somebody carrying on about how it was 40 years ago and we still get that which is kind of scary <laughs> but um in today's day and age, we want current information. We want information that we can trust. And we want to be able to speak to other designers who are doing exactly what it is that we're doing so that we can relate to each other, make friends, support each other, and continue to work and build and not only build relationships, but continue to build our businesses and our careers together as you know successful interior designers. So in terms of um, interior design mentoring, what is it specifically that you should be looking for? Well, somebody who is in the business for a long time, you want somebody who is not just a step ahead of you because they're not going to have been through those really difficult things that you've experienced or are experiencing right now. You're going to want to know that this person has a track record. Have they helped other people? Have these people actually got proof that they've actually change somebody's life with their mentorship. I remember one of the first things, one of the biggest disappointments I had was one of the first couple of mentors that I hired was a very good salesperson, but they were not somebody who actually got results for anybody. They made a lot of money for themselves, but in terms of um, the kinds of results we found as 
their mentees or their people being coached. It was a real letdown. And we paid a lot of money for this kind of mentorship that we never got because it was just about the person. And I think that was really sad. So when you're looking for a mentor, look for somebody who has proof. Go and seek it out. Speak to the people. See what they've actually changed in their lives. Do this. Does this person actually know what they're talking about? Um, what else? I think one of the other things I've already mentioned is this person, if you are being mentored, needs to take some kind of responsibility over the information that they're giving you. Because these days, a lot of, a lot of people are giving advice but it doesn't mean anything. They just throw it at you and go and do what you want with it. But actually, if you action, if you take action from that advice and go and something bad happens, you could actually sue them because you've taken their advice and you've acted on it. So it's a lot of people don't realize that that can happen. So it's important to look at who it is that you're taking the advice from. Make sure that they're taking responsibility for the the well, sometimes nonsense that they're saying and um, help you um, as the person who is reaching out and asking for that help with some responsibility. What else do you want to look for in a um, mentor? Well, I think one of the key things is somebody who's actually been doing the exact same thing that you want to create. So something that you're aspiring to. Do you want to start your own business? Do you want to work for a big firm? Do you want to um, have a small firm, run a small team, work on commercial, work on residential. What is it that you specifically want to do and find the person who has done those things? Um, I think I'll leave it at that because there's so many more. You've obviously got the article where um, that, that is associated with this post. Um, and go through and list it out. There's a checklist for you. If you're looking for a mentor, if you're looking for somebody who can give you that guidance and information that you need, at any stage of your career because you need, we don't do this alone. Even now I've got a mentor. So you're going to have somebody there for the whole journey. And um, if you want a checklist to start that journey, have a look at the blog post that's associated with this um, video and um, hopefully that'll kind of kickstart your journey. I'm Jo Crowback. I'm an architect and interior design mentor at the Interior Designers Business School here in London.